Hi, my name is Greg. I'm Pat's husband. And we're here filming in San Miguel at Spa Club Casa Marino. The weather's about 75 degrees. And we're very lucky to have a facelift patient done by Dr. Kelliker named Paula that's going to share her story with you. And now I'd like to introduce Paula to you. Paula? Hi, I'm Paula. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm 59 years young. Uh, I'm a registered nurse and I work at a hospice in that uh, city of the sun. Uh, I came here uh, after thinking for a couple of years about possibly getting a facelift. Got a hold of Pat. Pat was good to get back with us, uh, guide us through the process of what we needed to do. And, um, and we came and we did it. And we're both very happy with our results. Uh, when you get to the airport in Lyon, uh, they have someone come and pick you up, a, a fine young gentleman named Miguel, and he not only picks you up and takes you to the hospital, but he stays right with you, gets you signed in at the hospital, gets you to your hospital room, and um, makes sure that you're totally ready, ready to go before he leaves. So then um, you have the consultation the day before your surgery. Dr. Uh, Kelliker comes in and um, gives you that consultation, thoroughly goes through what he thinks are the recommendations for you. Um, then the day of surgery, he comes in and does all the facial markings. And again, he's very good at reviewing everything with you. He's a wonderful doctor. He is very thorough. He's got a fantastic bedside manner and makes you feel very comfortable as soon as you talk to him. So from there, uh, you go into surgery. Uh, and the surgery is amazing. Uh, you don't have to have a general anesthetic. You really don't know what's happening, but um, they do ask that you use their, um, what we call conscious sedation, so that even though you're not aware of it, you can still follow commands. You come out and you're totally comfortable. There's no pain to it at all, none. Uh, and they make sure that you are comfortable through the whole process at the hospital. Um, and what Dr. Kolliker did for me was a facelift, a total facelift. He did the upper and lower eye. Uh, he also did the fat transfer of the lips, upper and lower, and uh, forehead. He did the forehead, basically, I guess you call it forehead lift. Um, trying to think. Uh, and neck lift, total neck lift. So after you're there, uh, the hospital staff is totally great also. Everybody's just amazing here. You're at, in, a, in a real hospital. Uh, everything is up, up to American standards, I guess you would say, as far as the hospital. And when you're ready to go to the Casa Marino, they also have arrangements for you to be picked up there, come to the Casa, and then you meet the staff here. Of course, there's Pat and her husband, and uh, Fabiola, Fabiola, who is just a sweetheart, we just love her. And then there's two other ladies that do the cooking and things like that, and just all very, very sweet and wonderful. Before you come here, Dr. Kolliker checks on you uh, in the hospital two or three times a day, which is very wonderful. So you have that constant, uh, what we call continuity of care in the United States. So you follow through from you from the hospital to the Casa Marino. Dr. Kulliker does follow up with you at the Casa Marino once you get here. He follows up with you and does suture removal when you're here at the Casa. Um, as far as the actual Casa Marino, it is beautiful. Everything that you see on the website, if you choose to check out the website, is exactly what you get when you get here. Uh, beautiful rooms, uh, beautiful facility as far as indoor and outdoor. They totally let you do what you want to do or what is necessary for your recovery. Um, all the time though, making sure you're following guidelines to make sure that you're not going to do something that would not be beneficial to you. Um, at some point it, down the road, and you're here a few days, um, you are told you can venture out and they will take you downtown if you choose not to walk. Uh, but again, it's all Fabio, Fabiola will make sure you're not doing anything that's going to jeopardize yourself in any way. Um, food's fantastic. Probably ate more than I should have, but can't resist it. It's good stuff here. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for that. Um, and we're about ready to go home, but this is a result. What you see today is a result of coming out of surgery in 10 days. 
So uh, very, very pleased. Just so you have some idea of what my profile looks like, I'm gonna turn a little bit to both sides. Uh, you really can't see the suture lines, and that's all explained in the website as to how Dr. Kolicker does the, the, uh, the incisions and things. But, and, and you know what, this is only 10 days later, and I know in the next two to three months it's gonna get even better, so I'm, I'm just anxious to see how it all turns out. My friend and I are gonna be picked up here shortly to go to the Lyon Airport back to the United States. Uh, though we're anxious to get home, it's kind of sad because uh, we've been so well taken care of. Everybody's just been fabulous, and I hope you choose to do this experience also. Thank you.